Hey kids, welcome to lesson four, Variables I Make, part three. So today kids, we're gonna go through and code up this program here. This is really one of our first big coding exercises, so I wanna take a minute and make a quick video of it. If you see here, a lot of what we have to add is all of in our instructions from our previous lesson. And really what we have to do is we have to make it so if I hit the like or dislike button, kids, the likes go up. And if I add a new comment, a comment appears over here. And that's really what I'm going to be doing here. It isn't too hard. There's a couple pitfalls that we have to avoid, like local and global variables. But other than that, it is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna be doing mine by block based for this so you kids know what's going on, just so we all have the same foundational knowledge. First thing here, I'm gonna notice one area we have commented out for variables, one comment for our handlers. And if you look through this, we really have two variables. One, we have our likes, which is gonna change, and we have our comments, which is gonna change. That means I'm going to need two variables. And I can always get my variable down here, kids. I can just go grab my variable, put it up here, and then I can just change this to likes, and the likes are going to equal zero right now. And I'm going to do the same thing for my comment. So my comments is going to equal zero. All I'm doing right here is just initializing two variables, creating them, but I haven't done anything with them. That's what that little yellow triangle for it's saying, hey, you created something, my friend, but you haven't done anything with it. Well, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go to our event handler here. And I'm just gonna start working my way this way. So I'm gonna do the down like button first, because hopefully, kids, you don't use that button too often. When I get a dislike on my video, I get sad. So be careful with that dislike button, kids. And how are we gonna do that? Well, these are all event handlers right here. And really what we want is an on event. So when something happens, something else happens. So I'm gonna drag that in here. And just to go over to our show blocks here, on the event, and if I hover over on this down button or I go over to design and just click on it, I can see the ID for this is a down button. I can type in down button, or if I just come down here, I can just click on down button. And this is just basically saying on the event, the down button is clicked, something's going to happen. Well, what do you want to happen? Well, we want the likes to change, right kids? So in between here, we need to have likes, when every time this gets hit, we want our likes to change. And how do we do that? Well, we're just setting our variable likes to likes minus one. Don't forget your semicolon. Semicolons are like a period in the coding world. You'll notice that my little triangle disappeared because now I am calling likes. Likes is being passed down to here. This is a global variable, so anything can use it. And here we have our two likes, like one, like two. Common problem, kids, do not put a var in front of it. That makes two like variables. Can't have two, you can only have one. So be cautious of that as you're going along. Now, after I click it, I need this likes to go up, right? I need this to continue. And if we go to design here, we can see likes is actually set to zero. There's some text to it. I can change this to anything. I can just take it off like that. We hit run and you can see it resets it. So we can do whatever we want towards this. I'm gonna keep this at zero but we want this text to change as we go. And how we do that is by our set text here. We're just gonna drag this in. And again, if you wanna be easy, all we're gonna do is set the text for like count. We can come down here, we could type it out. We're just going like count output. And off of that one, what are we gonna do? Well, we have to have the text over here. I'm gonna go back over here to this one. It's easier for me to see. Now kids, Anything in quotation marks is going to be printed exactly. So likes is going to be printed exactly like it is here. If I put this lowercase, 
then when I go to my likes, you'll see it'll be printed lowercase. I'm gonna use that fun word that we've been using, concatenation, and I'm gonna string two strings together. So likes is going to equal likes the variable here. That means like starts off at zero. If it gets click, it gets passed down. It gets one subtracted. We're setting that text to that. Let's just try this to make sure. Reset and run. And you can see likes goes down, but also the capitalization kids. So you gotta be careful because that doesn't look right at all. So we're going to go to likes, reset, run. Now if we hit the down button, see how it looks a little more professional kids. We're not done yet though, because we still have to play a sound. So I'm just gonna drag the sound one in here. This one's definitely easier to go over to the show the blocks. Because if you click down here, it's gonna let you choose. And we can just do any sound we want, kids. Let's do music, find something easy. That's a lot. Too long. Let's find something that's just a second long. Whoa. <laughs> These are so long, kids. Uh, let's go back, find something a little easier here. That's a fun one. We'll just choose that one. So anytime this goes now, let's go to our show text here. We can close this up a little. Keep those parentheses and everything going over there that we need. Now when we reset and run, when we hit the down. <laughs> there we go, kids. So that's the first one. What we do to one, kids, well, we're gonna do to the other one. So we did the like and the up arrow is gonna be called, we go to design, click there, it's called the up button. I can just copy that. Come over here, the ID is up button. And we're gonna do the same thing in here. In fact, I'm just gonna copy this set of code. Actually, I can copy all three sets of codes, kids. So I'm gonna use the same, uh, same music here. Actually, no, we should use different music, kids. So I'm just gonna click these two, paste those in. The same thing's gonna happen here, except likes aren't gonna go down, they're gonna go up on this one. So we're gonna go likes up one. I'm just gonna set these equal to each other, kids. And then likes again is gonna go likes plus one. Let's drag a play sound in again. Let's go to show block so we can find a good one. Kids, I'll be quicker this time. Let's go to app. That sounds like a good one. And that one goes when we're up. I'm just gonna delete this here so it looks a little better and we're doing pretty good. Let's reset run. We always test after we do everything. You hear the sound. <laughs> so, such a hot mess, kids. So that's going pretty good. So far we're upvoting and downvoting. Next, we gotta worry about this little part right here, the text part. And the text part here is, we're just gonna store the comment from the user and then we're going to print it out. So we're just gonna use this as a variable. Same thing we've been doing. So I'm gonna drag the event in here. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at this comment button, right? So if I go to design and I add new comment here, this is where the comment's gonna come from, the new comment input here. So that's what we're looking for. We can copy and paste it here. If we go back to our code, we have to write up our variable like we have been doing before. This time it isn't likes, it is comment. And we gotta spell that right. Comment is going to equal our comment. And then we wanna do a little more of this, right? So we wanna get our comment, because this is our overall variable. We wanna get whatever the comment is already there, stored, and we're going to add another line. If you remember, kids, whenever we add a new comment, it went to a different line. And we're gonna use the forward slash kids, as I've talked about in class. The backslash is what you kids think the forward slash is. The forward slash is actually the backslash. 
This is the one above the enter key. It's also the or encoding. And we're just going to do n. That forward slash n, all that does is just adds a different line. And then we're just going to get the text. So we're just going to get text. And I'm going to put that on the same line. And where am I getting the text from? Well, that's that new comment part there that I already did. All that's doing is just getting the comments, kids. That's it. We still have to print those comments out. And we do that by setting the text. And the text ID here is going to be the all comment output. Got to wait to go there. So this is all comments output. And the text I want there is just going to be whatever the comment is. I'm getting rid of my quotes because I want a variable, kids. I don't want it printed exactly. So you'll see comment, 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 comment. Everything is there. We have an unexpected little part right there. That's because this has to be a string. We don't see it, so we have to put that in there. And then we are missing a semicolon at the end. Remember, semicolons are like periods, and that should be everything, kids. So I believe this should be the code. Let's go to show blocks for this all to work here. So let's run it. Oh, we forgot one thing here, kids. We forgot the ID that we clicked this on. This is the comment button, kids, this one down here. So if we go down here, this is called comment button. So our ID we have to do is comment button. And then when the comment button is clicked, that's when it's going to store everything. Forgot that one, kids. Let's try one more time. Reset run. There's our up, <laughs> our down. Let's type in, this is Mr. Rhodes. As you can see, I put it in there. I just have this paused. Kids, easy way to get rid of that is the refresh symbol. This will drive you crazy sometimes if you pause it. So let's just refresh our page. Quick way to get around it if you know the code's working and it's not there. Now if we hit run. <laughs> up comment we're just gonna do mr. Rhodes is amazing and then let's just do cats Boo. we can keep adding stuff in there kids so you can see it keeps going down there as we go and that's really how we do this one you're gonna notice in the design for this one this oh my god so cute oh my god so cute kids you can make this say anything, comments here. That's really what pops up there. So, oh my God, cats, question mark, we can put in there. And that, kids, is basically how we do lesson four, number three. Hopefully you found this video helpful. As always, kids, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, my friends, I'll see you on the next video.